on the uh, Ford 302 engine rebuild assembly. Um, I have the block clean, honed, um, and the cam bearings are in. So that's pretty much where we're starting. So first off, we got the uh, three oil plugs. I just put some Teflon tape on them. Uh, they got three holes right here that go in. Also, we got the cam plug to go in. Sometimes you get the machine shop for this. Um, I'm just going to use some uh, red Loctite. I'm just going to put a thin layer around it and then I have a big socket. This one's a inch and five sixteenths. Go in there like that and then we're going to hammer that in uh, flush. Okay, so you can see I got some thin red Loctite put on there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set all this up and hammer it in there. You just wanna make sure you go in there straight. I want to go right to the edge of that chant first. I'm going to go a little bit more. Okay. All right, so that's all there is to the back. Um, there's just a little chamfer. I just put the plug right at the inside of that chamfer. So that's pretty much all we got to do on the back of the block. Okay, so next thing in this engine, uh, I'm going to go ahead and install the camshaft. This is the Comps Extreme Energy 274 HR cam. Uh, I've already, even though this mo uh, cam was already in the engine, I still checked everything for nicks. Uh, and I went ahead and put some engine oil down on all the cam bearings. Uh, I'm just using standard motor oil for this. Uh, I don't have assembly lube currently, but I have some right here in a bucket. I'm just going to drizzle this on the cam and then I'm going to go ahead and slide it in. Okay, so I got lubed up. We're just going to be nice and gentle and just slide it in real easy. And I like to do it um, upside down if you don't have anything in the bottom end because then you can kind of reach in here and uh, grab the back and not ding anything up. But you can do it with the uh, flip the other way and with the crank in it. That's really easy. And we're at the last one. And there it goes. So everything slides real nice. No binding. It's not tight. You can turn it by hand like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip the engine uh, the other way around. Okay, so next step, how do you get the cam in? Uh, you got the cam thrust plate here. You can see it says uh, back bottom right there because you have this little uh, oil passageway so it goes like that uh, and then I cleaned these threads out already you want them really clean because you you must uh, red lock tight this because you do not want this uh, plate backing out so these bolts here go ahead and put those through and get both of them put in and then we're gonna torque it to uh, it's 8 to 10 foot pounds and I'm doing an inch pound, so it's uh, 120 inch pounds that we're going to torque this to. Alright, and that's it. It's not very much at all on the uh, cam thrust plate because those bolts are really tiny. Okay, so next we're going to install all the lifters. Uh, this is a roller block, so we have the uh, dog bones and we have the spider here. Uh, I have all my lifters soaking in just standard 1030 conventional motor oil. Uh, I already checked every one. I'm using these um, Ford Performance lifters. Um, but yeah, I checked them all, make sure they were good. Um, let them soak for a while and we're gonna pop them all in here and torque these bolts to 10 to 12 in, or a, 10 to 12 foot pounds, which should be about 140 inch pounds. 
So I'm going to go ahead and pop them all in here and torque the spider down. So I just take my bucket over here and just drop the lifters in the block. All right, so then after you get all the dog bones set in there, then we're gonna go ahead and put the spider in. And the dog bones do have an up, but they say it on it, so it's pretty obvious. So we're gonna go ahead and thread these in there. And you wanna make sure when you are putting this in, it should be pushing, like right there, it's got some spring to it, because it's actually gotta push the dog bones down. So you just gotta tighten it up in there all the way. And we'll torque it. Alright, that's all there is to uh, installing the lifters. Okay, so next step in the engine build, we're going to put the crank in. So this is, uh, we're going to check all the bearings first. So, you'll see in your bearing kits, uh, there's bottom bearings that have a little groove. Uh, so these are the ones that go down here because you have your oil and then there's ones that are uh, smooth like this one and that's the top bearing that goes on the cap up here and then you'll see there is a thrust bearing that's wide like that that goes in the center right here so what you want to do we're going to check the clearances with some plastic gauge um, you want to get the block and everything perfectly clean you don't want any oil you want because the oil will make the bearing move and make your tolerances off so there's a little tab so I can show it right there and you'll see a little spot in the block so what you want to do you just kind of want to set your bearings in and then you just kind of push them they're a snug fit and you just do that and then they're level and then there's that bearing in and then you just grab another one, line up the tab like that, and just push it in. Just a little bit more. You want to get it pretty well centered like that. Get another one. And you just do this for all of them. Okay, so then uh, you want to put the smooth bearing in the uh, top of the cap, um, you'll just set them in there just like I did on the bottom, it's the same, just except the one without the groove, and I'm going to do those off camera. But right now, you want to have your crankshaft uh, perfectly clean, and you want to make sure all these surfaces, nothing is in there, and you'll want to set your crank in, and then do not turn it. Okay, so next step, we're going to set the crank in. Uh, I went ahead and made sure everything was perfect, there was no nicks, dings, scratches, and we're just going to set the crank in real easy. It should go in just like that. And then do not spin the crank at this point because we don't have any oil or anything in there and it'll scratch. So what you want to do now is we're going to get our caps. We're going to push our bearings in the cap. So you got to remember, you have the uh, numbers and the arrow. So this one's number one, this is going to go here. And it faces towards the front, so you have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll show just putting in one bearing. So it's the one without the groove, goes in the top. So just like that. And it pushes in there perfectly like that. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and set it in here. And then you're going to want to put some engine oil on the bolts. I'm going to use some ARP um, lube because I happen to have it sitting around. And Okay, so after you got your crank set in, your bearings put in, we're going to check the clearance with some plastic gauge. This is some 1 to 3 thou plastic gauge. It's just this little tiny green stuff. Yeah, you can see that. Um, so I'm going to cut a sliver off 
on the top make sure everything is perfectly clean and I'm just gonna get down here and cut off a I don't know three quarter inch piece like that and then we're gonna push it carefully that way so right there yep the camera can show that now we're going to get our bearing cap make sure you get your bearing in there make sure all the faces are clean right here you don't want any junk on them and then these faces make sure they're clean I'm actually going to wipe that off real quick one more time okay so got everything clean we're going to set our bearing cap on here like that and then I already put some of that ARP um, lube on there and then I'm just going to start these by hand and I'm going to do all of them at once so I'm going to go ahead and put in all the other caps and we're going to torque them all at once and check them all at once okay so we're going to go ahead and torque the mains to uh, 70 foot pounds so we're just going to work them down I'm going to go evenly on both sides because I got to set in that little groove okay so we just torqued all the caps to 70 foot pounds I removed the caps afterwards and now you can see we have a clear indication on our plastic gauge so you want to hold this up so that one not quite one and a half now it's right there at two so we're gonna go down the line here um, that one maybe two and a half on that one and this one kind of hard to shut the camera that one's two this one here Get the light in the way that one's also two and I'm get where the light will show it's a little bit narrower than the one half that one's maybe, oh, that's probably a little hair less than two. So if you have a motor, I'm trying to shoot between one and a half and two. Um, if you're down closer to the one and a half or maybe a hair less, you can maybe run a 530 oil. If you're more towards the three, you might want to do more of like a 15 weight, but I wanted to run 1030. So what we're going to do now, we're going to clean off uh, with some brake clean we're gonna wipe this off and on our caps uh, let's see if it'll show it there's a little bit of green so you want to wipe that off and then we're gonna pull the crank back out of the motor and we're gonna put our assembly lube down the bottom of the bearings and then we're gonna put the crank in more assembly lube and then we're gonna to torque all our main caps okay so I got all the plastic gauge cleaned off the crank and the bearing caps I'm going to use some of this uh, Lucas assembly lube. We're just going to go ahead and lube up all our bearings. Just want to put this all over them. You can't use too much. So we're just going to dump it all in the bearings. Just got to line it up carefully. Okay. And still not spent it yet. Uh, we're going to go ahead and soak the top with some more assembly lube. Okay, so on the back cap, um, I'm going to put a little bit of silicone kind of right here. They had some on the factory right along the edge. So we're just going to put I mean, a thin, thin layer just right there for the rear main seal. So I'm going to try to... I'm just going to dab a little bit on there and just kind of smear it. Okay, so after you get the crank lubed up and all your bolts in there, I just ran them up by hand. Uh, this one, you want to make sure the cap is in all the way and 
finger tighten these. So we're going to use a rubber hammer and we want to align the thrust bearings. So we're going to hit the crank backwards, forwards. We're going to do that a couple times to make sure we get everything aligned on that bearing to set our in play. So I'm going to hit it back and then I'm going to hit it forward. Try to hit right on the back here. And we're going to hit it this way. And then we're going to go back again. Okay, so we got everything torqued, and now you want to spin the crank by hand. It should spin easy. And you should have some resistance. Like it's, it takes a little bit there because you have that thick assembly lube, but if you have to put a wrench on here and really twist the crank, or if you have to push on it like that, then it's, you have something wrong here. But that's snug, and it turns free just by grabbing it. So we know that's good. So we're going to go ahead and do a full turn, make sure everything spins good, which it does. So crankshaft is done. Okay, so the next step, we're going to check the crankshaft in play. I have my drop indicator set up here, and I'm just going to use a uh, flathead screwdriver. I'm just going to like pry like here and here and work the crank back and forth and see what um, tolerance we get. So. Try to do this without, there we go. So right there we got about five thou. I'm gonna pry on the back. And it goes back to zero. I'm gonna do it one more time. And bring it back. So that's perfect. We got five thou of crankshaft in play, which is right in the middle of the tolerance. All right, so now that we got the cam and the uh, crankshaft and the motor, uh, you want to make sure you put in the uh, three oil plugs here, here, and here. Uh, you won't have any oil pressure. Uh, so now we're going to put the timing set. You want to make sure down here, there's, some of them have three positions for two degrees retard, two degrees advance, and um, back to factory spec. I'm just going to do factory specs. You have to be careful. Uh, you have to read the instructions. If you have a fuel injected car, you have to put the correct uh, dowel pin in the cam and there's one of these for the fuel injected cars. I have a carbureted one so I have a fuel pump eccentric. So I'm going to roll this up here. I have it lined up with the crankshaft already and you kind of you just got to get it it's really tight fit so you got to get it lined up and kind of tap it on. Okay so there I got it on uh, make sure you put I think the camera shut red Loctite on the bolt and your if you have a fuel bump eccentric it lines up with the hole. So you get that lined up. And make sure my fuel pump eccentric gets lined up. And that's in and then get my torque wrench, which I'm at. 42 foot pounds and there's red Loctite on the bolt so you got to get the cam gear pulled all the way up make sure that one's pushed all the way back now this is going to be kind of difficult because uh, my motor's turning over I kind of hold it from the inside on the crank Alright, there we go. And just verify everything's lined up. I'm going to turn it back. And I'm doing the dot to dot, which is right there. So, and then everything rotates by hand, nice and free. So, that's all there is to that.